And you know what? At that point, it was like pockets. Me. <laughs> This is for the bloopers. Добрый день. Добро пожаловать на канал Sloths and Orchids. My name is Elisa and this is part two of my collaboration with lovely Lisa from Answer One. And we are both making Sydney dress of Vicky So's pattern company. So the dress is complete. I really look forward to seeing Lisa's dress. I think it's going to be amazing. I think I went for quite a safe option of just a plain fabric, but Lisa went for stripes, stripes, you know, pattern matching, um, pattern placing, <laughs> and all that sort of thing. Now, what needs to be discussed today is the issue of pockets. Um, initially, when I was making my pockets, I don't know how, but I just made them the first time around. I made them ever so matched and it was absolutely fine. And then I promised you guys that I will make a video tutorial for you because I thought it's important that you have a little bit of help with it because I kind of was scratching my head in a couple of places and I was like, you know, if I can help you, especially since you can't read the instructions, I'll cut out all the parts in twos. So I thought I'll make the first po pocket for myself just to go through all the steps and make some notes. So that was one. And there was two. Then there was three. And then finally this morning there was four. <laughs> which is not even the same fabric. <laughs> it's just random as you've seen, but this is not my tutorial. I actually have one set of this fabric left, so you can see the original one. What am I gonna say about this? Um, when yesterday at two o'clock in the morning, or today, two o'clock in the morning, I was like a crazy professor, you know, like my hair is like sticking everywhere. And I was like, you know, like, <sighs> and nothing is matching and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing kind of different things and the, the end result is like not good, <laughs> you know. Huh. And um, I was so frustrated. I sent Lisa a, a message, which I'm quite ashamed of, but I will put it up on the screen for all of you to enjoy. <laughs> That's, it's not good, it's no good, but <laughs> you just need to see how strongly I felt about this pocket. So anyway, what happened is, I don't know why they did that, but the slit of the welt pocket has line going in the middle of it. And that line is not in the middle. It's like off center. And after the life of me, I could not figure out why it's off center and why am I not matching correctly? That is like, it's supposed to go on that line on either side of it. And I literally, you know, you've seen the pile of fabric I wasted on a day of my life. And then I went to bed and um, I'm lying in bed and I'm trying to sleep and it's late and I'm tired. And I'm like, I was like almost falling asleep and I'm like, what if the seam allowance is supposed to be the same on both sides of the pocket? And I'm like, stop it, sleep, just go to sleep. It's gonna be okay, just close your eyes, it's gonna be okay. I'm like, okay, okay. But why is it uneven? Anyway, I could not sleep last night because of a freaking freaking pockets <laughs> i had to sleep last night due to pockets issue i saved you all a lot a lot of time on figuring out how to do this pocket but number four is absolutely perfect perfecto ignore the loose threads but um it is a dream So I now am going to make a brand new one. I'm going to video every step of the process and I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm doing so that you 
will just sit down and do your pockets the first time around. Now, how I did the pockets on my dress the first time around correctly, I have no idea. I don't know. I probably haven't read the instruction properly and just went intuitively. Anyway, either way, you will have the tutorial and please refer to it because it will save you a lot of time. And I think you're pretty lucky to have me in your life, <laughs> actually. <laughs> so other than the pockets, the dress came together quite nicely. And you know what? You don't have to do the pockets if you don't want to. You literally, you can insert your pockets in your side seams. There's so many pocket templates around. Just pinch one from your favorite pattern and just do that. Um, I went on Instagram hashtag Vicky so Sydney, which is part of it is written in Russian, so it's not easy to find. So I'm gonna include that hashtag below in the comments so you can go and check it out. And some beautiful dresses there and half of them don't even have the pockets, you know? And um, a couple I've seen that actually did the patch pockets um, and a shortened the dress, so they made it like into like a shirt jacket-ish kind of thing. There are a few dresses there, maxi dresses with longer sleeves, you know, quite nice. There's one lady who modified her Sydney pattern to make a wrap dress and it just looks so beautiful on her. So, you know, this is a lovely classic pattern. They can be changed up a little bit here and there to produce quite a few interesting garments, you know, so you can make a shirt out of it, you can make a maxi dress out of it, you can make a long sleeve, like a winter autumn kind of dress out of it, or you can wear it over some other clothes, or you can make this even out of something much lighter and wear it to the beach just over your swimsuit, you know, the possibilities are endless. I think this pattern comes together really nicely. Again, ignore the pockets part, bloody pocket. I will not stop talking about the pockets. <laughs> I just need to get over it. I need to get over the pockets, get, get the tutorial done, and then I'll never talk about it ever again. Which in fact is lie, is a lie, because I'm gonna use this pocket. Um, I'm already thinking of putting them into something else. I'm thinking, maybe, maybe, LOD dress? I don't know, maybe, or maybe it has to be like a straight, skirt. I don't know. I have to look into it. But now I know how to do it. I really, I think it looks pretty neat. Um, and I'm going to use all the parts and just put it into one of my other, other dresses. Um, I've learned something new. <laughs> Definitely. It wasn't easy. It wasn't an easy road. But I do think that it wasn't a wasted time, like I said. I think it's the time well spent getting to the bottom of quite an important technique. And I think it will actually, because I've made so many pockets already and I'm about to make another one, I think I really have a good understanding of how everything folds and turns inside out and how things work. So next time I do my bound buttonholes or a similar, weld pocket or anything that kind of has the same technology it's going to be so much easier for me so you know like i didn't like making shirts before because i thought they were too complicated and then i made one and then two and i made three and then after that it's just like literally it's so easy i don't even think about it so i think the more you do something you don't understand the better you get at it and the more enjoyment you get out of it i literally get a kick out of making that last pocket and it literally just fit everything perfectly so nice so anyway back to the dress <laughs> back to the dress if you want to try russian patterns go for it not necessarily this dress here you can choose something even simpler i think the fit is brilliant I will be showing you the insides in a minute, just to show you what I've done. So the only change I've made to this dress is I've inserted slits on the bottom of the skirt on both sides. Um, I've added initially 10 centimeters to my length only because I always get paranoid that the things are not long enough for me. Um, and really, 
if I wanted to look like the model from the photo, I'm not gonna look like that. Okay, if I wanted the same length <laughs> address as the model from the photo of this pattern, then I could have safely kept what the pattern came in and not worry about the length, not add anything. And that would be absolutely fine because they already adjusted the length for my height. But I don't know, I just, for some reason, I just added 10 centimeters. And do you know what? I liked it and I kept it. And in fact, the seam allowance for the bottom is bottom hem is four centimeters and I didn't even use it because I wanted as much length I just like it longer that's my preference um, so I've turned it up by one centimeter and I'll show you on the table in a minute yeah and the skirt seemed to be it wasn't narrow but it was almost like the last button. It wasn't pulling apart, but you could see where it could pull apart at the bottom. So adding those slits, I've released that tension at the bottom button and it's just really lovely. Um, I can't wait to try it on for you and I can't wait to see what Lisa's done to hers. What I'm going to say is give it a go. Definitely try it. It's relatively inexpensive and I think for the chance of having a really well-fitting garment, you should take that chance. Choose a simpler pattern perhaps or choose this pattern if you're comfortable with making shirts. Um, choose this pattern and just omit the pockets or don't. Watch out for the tutorial. So, starting with the collar. It's a very basic color. I did slip stitch it first before machining it down only because I wanted quite a precise finish and sometimes you end up slipping off especially when the fabric is thick. So um, all your top stitching here. So that's that. I do need to remove that blue. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, Button-wise, I went for sparkly blue. It was a blue buttons with the golden light blue sparkles in the middle. So that's quite cute, I think. Um, the yoke is lined. The sleeves, because we had a one centimeter allowance, I did not, I did not have enough seam allowances to French seam input. Um, and the same for the side seams. Here's your dart. These are the pockets, which I will talk about it, <laughs> um, but not right now. These are almost, almost good. Almost, but not quite. Um, next time will be better. Buttonholes, mm, I'll say I'm quite happy. Happy with these. Obviously I need to go and chop off all the loose threads. I was considering another buttonhole here, but it decided against it. Obviously, all the blue marking will be removed um, after the first wash. And this is the hem that I was telling you about. So instead of doing four centimeter hem like they wanted us to, like this, I decided to keep all my lengths. And so I turned it up by one centimeter. Plus, I have added my slits which you can see I just literally stitched like this and reinforced here as well um, not that you can tell there's a bit of threads hanging off but never mind so yeah I have all my hem is a one centimeter all along another slit So 
super nice. Linen is just so gorgeous. This color is lovely. Yeah, the buttons I'm really happy with. And uh, yeah, there we go. Pretty much. It's quite bulky. <laughs> it's long. This is the yoke at the back. Your plate. Oh yes, of course, the sleeves. The sleeves on the outsides look like this. Cute little tabs. Secure it here with the button and secure it here by a line of stitching in it, stitching a ditch. So they are not going anywhere really. That's it. Here's the underarm sleeve. Yeah, close enough. It's very good. Oh, let's look the other one. This one's even better. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't do too too badly, did I? Um, so yes. So this is it. This is it for the for the close up. So thank you so much for watching and following our little experiments and I hope you like the end results. If you have any questions please do ask in the comment section down below um, or if you just want to say hi please do. I love I love the comments and I love answering the comments. Sometimes my answers are longer than the comments itself. So, you know, I'm an excitable person. <laughs> so um, it all comes from a good place, a uh, place of excitement. Um, so Vicky Sounds Fun doesn't have to end with this video. I encourage you to go and have a try for yourself. And if you do, and if you make a garment out of it, do tag me on the Instagram because I would love to see what you made. and how it fits you and I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it so thank you again for watching and taking interest and I hope we inspired you and thank you to Lisa for being the most incredible and fun partner in crime and I hope to see you all soon in my next video meanwhile stay pretty and sew something amazing bye Yeah.